Hi guys. So I want to show you how to make one of my favorite peanut butter vegan gluten-free recipes. So while these cookies are in the oven, I'm going to explain why I'm such a crazy cookie lady and I love baking so much. First, let's go make them. All right, we're gonna need a cup and a half of teff flour. Close enough. Don't underestimate the recipes on the back of the bag. Half a teaspoon of sea salt. That's our dry ingredients. We'll set those aside. We need one half cup of maple syrup. One half cup of oil. One teaspoon of vanilla. Uh-oh. Where is this vanilla? Yes, found it. Got it. Another really delicious part of this recipe is just good peanut butter. Um, so I'm gonna grind my own right here, right now, because it's fresh. One teaspoon of delicious vanilla. Last but not least, fresh ground peanut butter. Okay, these are like all my favorite things in one cookie. You have all your liquids together, now you need to blend them. We're gonna add our flour. Woo! I am a klutz. There's just no way around it. Mmm. Okay. The dough's already tasting good. This is good. This is a good start. I wish you could smell this right now. This smells like heaven. Ever. <gasps> oh, I'm an idiot. I just poured all my vanilla out and down my jeans. Oh, now you can see how messy I am. You know what, it's not proper baking until something gets spilled or broken. So, where were we? Our dough is looking good. Now, we are going to line a sheet with parchment paper and start rolling out the dough. The most important thing here is just to keep it from falling apart. Perfect little ball of dough there. Next step is pour a little bit of almond milk into a glass, dip a fork into the almond milk, and then just use this to make a cute little crust. Now, let's put them in the oven. We're gonna bake these cookies for about 13 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is my life story of why I am so obsessed with baking. It all started when I was around five years old. I remember learning how to read from baking, from reading recipes, and specifically it was my gram who taught me how to bake. You know, as a kid you don't have money to buy somebody a present, so for a family member's birthday, a friend's birthday, I would always make them a cake or make them brownies. Baking something really takes time and energy and love, and so it's a great gift. So, you know, I was just a normal kid, dancing ballet and, and baking in my free time, and then um, this modeling opportunity happened, and all of a sudden I found myself in New York on, you know, a photo shoot with important people. I don't know, I think there's something about being a Midwestern girl. You're just taught manners. You don't go to like a neighbor's house without like bringing something, so I just sort of automatically thought like, okay, I have a big shoot, like I'm gonna bring the crew like homemade muffins or something. That was like not out of the ordinary for me, but I think that was not a normal thing for models to do, which I realized later on. I think part of the reason why I spent so much of my free time baking things. Especially like at night I would stay up late baking because I was like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 years old like in New York City with my grandma. I wasn't going to nightclubs, I wasn't going to parties, I wasn't going to bars or restaurants. I was like doing my homework and hanging out with like my grandma or my mom or whoever was here with me so I had a lot of free time. I just kind of poured all that energy into making things for other people. Again, it came back to like the gift of time and the gift of like something really heartfelt. And that's what I think baking is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm 
making a mess. These are amazing. And hot. Mm. Try and make these at home. Tell me what you think. And um, thanks for listening and watching. Seriously, make these. They're delicious. Bye. Good morning. We are on our way to Central Park for the Susan G. Komen 5K Race for the Cure. And the entire Kloss clan is squeezed in one car. Um, we have t-shirts. We have snacks. We're ready to go. <laughs>